Uh, welcome back to uh, another video. Nope, not thing to do. All right, on the way to the assassin den to do another Sophia memory, is what it's called. You have fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Forgive me for this, Mentor. But the apple corrupted you, and through you it would have corrupted us. For us to live, you had to die. Is it truly over? Is that sorcerer dead? He was no sorcerer, just an ordinary man in command of illusions. Have you prepared the pyre? I have, but... Altair, some of the men will not stand for such a thing. Let me handle it. Synchronize it. What? Does that mean health? Are you fit to travel? Well enough. Yes. I asked Malik to ride to Jerusalem with news of Al Mulim's death. Would you ride to Acre and do the same? Of course. What is happening? There's a lot of health. My mind was clear, but my body, it would not move. It was our mentor the cause of this confusion? I do not believe this. What has happened here? Our mentor deceived us all. The Templars corrupted him. Where is your proof? Walk with me, Abbas, and I will explain. And if I find your answers wanting, I will talk until you are satisfied. Do you remember the artifact we recovered from Robert de Saab in Solomon's temple? The artifact you were sent to retrieve, what others delivered? Yes. It is a Templar tool. The Apple of Eden. It can conjure illusions and control men's minds. A deadly weapon. And you believe Al Mualim fell under its spell? I do. Today he used the apple to enslave Masyaf. You saw that for yourself. I do not know what I saw. Listen, Abbas. The apple is safe in Al Mualim's study. When I am finished here, I will show you all I know. Altair! No! I must know that he cannot return. But this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Defiler! Hear me out. 
This body could be another one of Al Mulim's phantoms. I must be certain. Lies! All your life, you have made a mockery of our creed. You bend the rules to suit your whims, while belittling and humiliating those around you. Restrain him! Did you not hear him? Al Mualim is bewitched. Ah! Oh, I'm not okay. I just disarm them. I'm not killing them. No need to kill me. We could be friends. You could just let me go. No, do not let go. What did I tell you, Altair? Abbas, stop! What did you think would happen when you murdered our beloved mentor? You loved Al Mulim less than anyone. You blamed him for all your misfortune, even your father's suicide. My father was a hero. This is not the time to quarrel over the past. We must decide what to do with that weapon. Whatever this artifact is capable of. You are not worthy to wield it! No man is. It is beautiful, is it not? Ah! My hair doesn't affect Altair at all. I'm gonna stay here until it goes off something. Uh, Alright. That must feel so weird. No, it's just, just a hand. Altair, barely 26 and already a Grand Master in command of a divided order. How does one cope with such responsibility and unlimited power? That's good. I think if I can remember correctly, I remember reading something about 
uh, as the years go on, the longer you live. So back then, 60 was pretty, pretty old. I feel, I think. If I can remember correctly. Now I could be wrong. I might uh, probably sound stupid right now. I made the acquaintance of an Ottoman prince named Suleiman. He's a clever young man with a fortitude uncommon for his age. On his suggestion, I will be investigating some wayward Janissaries who may be in league with the Templars. With luck, they will lead me straight to the core of the Templars' leadership. Meanwhile, the Venetian Sophia Sartor continues to help me find the hidden Maziav keys. She is a diligent woman, full of passion and vigor, and I enjoy her company immensely. But I dare not tell her the purpose of my stay here. Nor of my true vocation. Those who do not volunteer in our struggle should not be forced to fight it. So do I look here, so. I'm going to buy it. I want to see it. Even though I can't buy anything, I don't have money for it. Quality. Your feet will love you more than your wife does. I am not married. Ah, you are better off. Come, feel it. You have sold well today. I have not sold a thing. The Janissaries confiscated most of my rugs just because they were imported. Do you know Tariq Barletti, their captain? Uh, he's around here somewhere. An arrogant man, but... Uh, you insult me, sir. I cannot take less than 200 action for this. My final offer. When I find him, I will ask about the rugs. You drive a hard bargain, Yabanche. Shall we compromise at 180? 180 action. And we part as friends. Yeah, I'm not doing that. The shack two guards with the bomb, I'm not doing that. Ooh, hello. Oh, uh, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> oh, I probably, uh, so I don't want to be in here. Move. Oh, what the hell? Wait. 
quite hectic lately, but I'm not complaining. The work is hard, but honest, as is the pay. I certainly prefer this to the oppression and hunger we knew so recently. I wonder whatever happened to how we talk. Sometimes I think there are... Of all Mehmet's accomplishments, I'm beginning to think this bazaar was the finest. If you have no business here, you do not belong. Lead the way! You know, that's not my fault. Do you have any idea what you are doing? <clears throat> Ouch. Mehmet's accomplishments. I'm beginning to think this bazaar was the finest. If you have no business here, you do not belong. Lead the way! I get it. Like, oh, never mind. This is an important meeting. Make sure I am not being followed. I didn't want to plug that. Actually, I might get out of the way. What have I done? Forgive me. I don't like collecting uh, collectibles because I would prefer to collect them all when I'm doing it on my free time. But since I don't think I'm going to be doing the collectible this time, because I don't think you get any rewards for it, like outfits or capes, I'm not going to bother you. Sometimes I think there are not enough power.
God, this guy again. Does that really affect him too? news. Manuel has agreed to meet you, Tarek. He's waiting by the arsenal gate. <laughs> An eager old weasel, isn't he? Come, 